Going up to Canada to talk to Dave. Hey, Dave, thanks for the phone call. You are live. Hi, Dr. Peter Glidden. What's going on, Dave? Um, well, I have some questions. Um, I stumbled across something the other day that surprised me. Um, I heard that there could possibly be a cure for herpes simplex virus um, and involved minerals. Um, Imagine that. Without saying uh, any names or anything, yeah, I just uh, I heard, you know, the minerals push it out of your spinal column, um, and by boosting your immune system, your immune system will take care of that. Um, What's well, interesting is that where did you? Well, that's news to me. I mean, I'm not privy to that information. Well, what I do know is that minerals are necessary for every single metabolic function in the body. And that lacking vitamins, the system can make use of minerals, but lacking minerals, vitamins are useless. Minerals are the fundamental building block of health. So, therefore, because, you know, we're educated in the holistic method, we can extrapolate that because the body is a complex system of interrelated parts, in order to optimize the function of the immune system, then minerals must be a necessary thing. And what you're telling me is you're privy to research or some type of finding somewhere that said herpes simplex resolves easily under mineral administration. Is that correct? Yeah, that's, um, you know, I, I've done a lot of research on it, um, and, and it was just shocking to hear that. You know, uh, I'm not sure exactly whether it's uh, true, and, and so I, I, you know, I, am, I do take longevity products. Um, I've been on a bit of a health kick. I, I've seen the benefits of, you know, Beyond tangy tangerine, for example, I've turned a lot of people onto it as well. But um, you know, if any, you know, I I do believe that minerals might be uh, the solution. You know, well, the, you know, you want to you want to run down the source, right? You want to try to run down the source and get that to me. Uh, you know, because if it's a valid source, I mean, if it was research from a major university or even if it was research from a minor university, I don't care if you can run down well, the source that you got that from, get it to us. I'd be very interested in, in, in looking at that, right? Um, and, you know, this this is how we work. We're all in this together. Sure, I can send you that. Uh, I just didn't want to say it on the air for, you know, copyright reasons or whatever. So uh, um, I can certainly forward that to you, um, just to your email. Yeah, you know, do you have my email? Uh, I don't uh, offhand. Uh, I could probably find it, but... All right, stick around when we're uh, at the break, which is coming up in a minute, and uh, I'll speak to you off air and give you the email address. And uh, I'd really look forward to having yeah. that research. I appreciate it, Dave. Stick around. We're coming up uh, against a hard break. Well, this is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody knows everything. You know, the MDs think they know everything. There's a difference. When... It's like the fella said, right? The fool that knows he is a fool is that much wiser, but the fool that thinks he is wise is a fool indeed. We're all in this together. My knowledge helps you. Your knowledge helps me. We're a collective consciousness here like a honeybee hive. So let's all work together to lift our friends and family and church members and community members up into the wonderful world of science-based, clinically verified, holistic health, 